Hey guys, welcome back to another video or an audio if you're listening to this on a podcast. But if you are listening to this on YouTube, you should listen to it on my podcast called Grace Upon Arrival on Apple Podcasts. Anyways, I wanted to make an audio today. Honestly, I've been having it like on my schedule to make an audio, but I have been neglecting doing that because I'm like, I don't want to make an audio and encourage people when I don't feel encouraged. And that's a big lesson for a lot of us to learn. We don't always have to speak. We don't always have to give advice because sometimes what we have to say isn't always the best. And sometimes the advice that we have to give just isn't needed. So we have to learn when to speak, when to be quiet. And for the past few days, I've just not been feeling the best. I've been feeling kind of discouraged. So I just knew that it wouldn't come from a genuine place if I made an audio to encourage you when I don't feel encouraged. But um, I was just going throughout today and I told myself yesterday, like, today is going to be a good day. Like, I'm going to choose to be happy today. Um, because I do believe that happiness is a choice despite what's happening in your life and whatever circumstances you're going through. And so I was like, I choose to be happy tomorrow. And so today I woke up super early and I did my Bible study and I wrote in my journal and I just started my day off really well. And I went to school and everything was going great until I got to one of my classes and I was looking at my updated mark before we have to write exams. And it was just a mark that I just was not happy with. I very much always have um, a standard for myself and I like to meet that standard every single time. And I don't just set a standard for myself and then think I'm going to get it out of the blue. Like I genuinely work hard for what I want. And so the mark that I saw was just not anywhere near what I wanted. And it just upset me so much because number one, I worked so hard to get it. Um, I showed up to class every day. This class in particular, I absolutely hate and I regret taking, but I did it anyways. And so it just sucked that that was my mark. And it happened because I took a test and I took that test like as a rush. I had no time to study for it because I was so sick for a week. And then I had to take that test before the Christmas break. And it was just this whole thing. And I was so upset. And then I had weight training. So working out after that class. So I went downstairs and i did my class like an hour and 30 minutes long and i just exercised and let me tell you it was one of the best exercises i've ever done and it just felt so good to number one nourish my body in that way take care of my body exercise um and just be able to sit there and take in everything that's going on and release it and so i encourage you that if you tend to feel these feelings like of doubt or self-pity or just guilt like if you tend to feel very strong emotions if you're hypersensitive you need to find a very positive way to channel that out for me it's journaling for me it's going on walks but it is so cold it's like negative 20 degrees where i'm at so i can't take walks but the gym is a great alternative and honestly it makes me feel better about myself it releases negative emotions and it makes me look better so i think that's something that i'm going to start incorporating in my day-to-day routine because it just works for me and so while i was working out the holy spirit was talking to me and ministering to me and told me like i know this isn't exactly what you wanted i know this isn't the goal that you were looking to achieve but yet you're still here you're still standing that grade is very much still a it's a good grade okay it's a good grade to a lot of people i just have really really high standards and so the holy spirit was telling me like it's a great grade you're still passing and you're going to get a certificate at the end of this that is going to help you in the future and it reminded me of the bible verse when god says you know i i know the plans i have for you for hope and for a future and so it just reminds me of how strategic god is and how he uses such little things even things that we dread doing or that we don't want to do he uses those things and he pulls us through it he helps us endure it so that later on in the future that thing that we once hated is actually something that we can use to qualify ourselves and so i know that the certificate that i'm going to get from that class is going to look great on job resumes and just going to look good in general despite the fact that i really just like don't like that class but it just reminded me to just not be so hard on ourselves and i remember i was watching this video of university graduates and somebody was interviewing them and he was like you know what's the one thing what's the one piece of advice that you would give to yourself and like literally 95 percent of them said i would tell myself not just stress over that one bad test or that one class i failed or that one bad mark i got because i'm gonna make it anyways and when you get that diploma and when you get that bachelor's and when you get that master degree 
your 67 in math doesn't matter your 58 in science doesn't matter like these little meticulous grades don't matter when you get that piece of paper when you get that achievement that's all that anybody sees jobs don't see that you got a 56 or a barely passing in that class they see the diploma the degree that you have that shows that you've got on the other side of it that victory is yours that you won right and so it just reminds me that we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves we shouldn't um place so much pressure on ourselves to just continuously perform we have to remember that we're human beings and we need a break and sometimes things just don't work out for us but everything that god leads us to do he's working it out for our greater good and he can use anything it does not matter if it's a class in high school it does not matter if it's an extracurricular it does not matter if it's your household god can use anything and turn it around for your good